Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! And welcome to my favourite part of the day. It's Yarn Lane. Yay! Love a bit of Yarn Lane. We have got some wonderful kits in for you today. Now we've obviously over the year, well over a year now, more than a year of having Yarn Lane, we have been through so many different kits and projects and things. It's really nice to put them together in a theme. So we have put together a theme of spring. Spring because we are praying for a bit of warm and sunshine. But also because we need to start um, working ahead you need to do a bit of knitting and crochet i'm actually finally got around to knitting a, do a coat for my dog so i'm hoping it stays cold for a while because i thought it was going to be quite easy but it's all knitted in the round in with a cable pattern and it's got sleeves in as well honestly if it doesn't fit i'm just going to cry well it hasn't got like really long sleeves but like and it says on the pattern try at this point try the um, coat 
on your dog to see if the sleeves are the right length. But I'm knitting on a circular needle. How am I going to try that on the dog without the needle poking into it? Anyway, anyway, she's going to wear this throughout the whole year. But because I sh actually should have started it in October so it was ready. So in order for you to get ready for your spring knitting and crochet, we've put together a few kits for you. Now, do you remember when we had Anna Canalis on? Um, oh, now when was this? Probably September time. Can't remember the actual date. Um, when she did these beautiful shawls. Now we have got two of the kits left. Oh, I need to give Hannah the code. She'll get confused otherwise. UC6680. Um, <laughs> she's laughing at me. Sorry, she's not really confused. So this is her Coverack Samsara shawl. Now look, let me show you the picture. Is that not beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Now, it's not in that colour. We've got it in a beautiful turquoise colour. I'll show you the yarn in a minute. Now, this is a lovely shawl for wearing in the spring, going into the summer. It's very lightweight, but it is beautiful. Now, there, that's the Sam's, that's the colourway. That's um, Anakin wearing it. It's the same yarn that she's using that, but we've got it in a different colourway. It's really clever. You get these. They're, um, it's called the Zauber Perlin, and they're in these tiny little balls look and what is absolutely love about these because you use a different ball so it's not a variegated yarn you move the ball you change the balls as you go along but it starts with a solid turquoise and it ends with the solid cream but look how the colors change so this has got more turquoise than cream and gradually they change until you get to the last one so you can hardly see any difference between them they are all separate balls they're just tied together with a bit, bit of elastic so if you look at the pattern where the dark ends are on here is where the dark turquoise is and then you move until you get the cream in the middle and then you move out again and you get two of these these are beautiful i tell you what they took some getting hold of they come from germany and there's one company in the uk gets gets them but they're very limited in stock so it took us quite some time but um, once I'd seen Anakin's shawl I thought we do need to have this it's absolutely gorgeous now in the kit you get the full pattern brilliant we've had a lot of you who've knitted this said it makes perfect sense really good to knit I mean I know the pattern looks like but it is very very comprehensive and she's also got charts so depending on whether you're a chart or a written person you can either follow the chart or you can follow the words it's up to you you will need um as well as this so in the kit you get the enough yarn this beautiful zauber pearl and yarn which is 100 percent merino wool so you get beautiful merino wool shawl you will need four and a half mil circular needle as well as that 80 centimeters of length have a look on the Yarn Lane website. Um, we've got loads of circular needles and all sorts of things if you haven't got that one. Um, blocking, I would, I would suggest you block this afterwards. The best thing to use for that are lace blocking wires because you can get a beautiful curve shape. Obviously, you can, if you like, you can just um, pin it out after you've done it, spray it with a bit of water. But if you've ever seen um, the lace blocking wires, again, we've got those on the Yarn Lane website. They are fantastic. But isn't that beautiful? So if you fancy a little bit of a turquoise shawl, um, it is a four ply, so it's not like super lace weight or anything. Be it's absolutely beautiful. We've also got it in another colourway as well. So exactly the same. Let me just pop that back in, otherwise I really will get in a mess this morning. I've got all these different kits. So um, this one, same shawl. Same pattern, same everything, just a different colourway. This one is lovely. Let me show now. Like these, they've got lovely names. Is this one? Oh, this is Samarkand. Yeah. They've got lovely names. What was the other one called then? Samsara. Yes. So these, same shawl, but look at the colours. So you start off, so the dark colour is dark jet black the light color is turquoise but look then how the colors change so i feel like the first one um this one this is kind of your daytime shawl isn't it summer's holiday this is your nighttime shawl so you've got black and then you've got turquoise but the colors change so with this one you've got black with a tiny fleck of turquoise half and half then you go more into turquoise until you get to the end again four ply 100% merino wool and it is absolutely beautiful isn't it so um i would 
I would recommend these. They're something that I really wanted to knit. And I love these little balls. They're so sweet, aren't they? So if you fancy a nice little shawl for the spring and summer for taking on your holidays, just need to choose between the night and the day one. Right, I'm going to do cushions next because we've had a few of you asking about cushions lately. Um, and asking about Wendy. So let's, let's get them both done at the same time. I'm going to just um, put those on there. So few of you been asking that I've noticed on the arm when is Wendy back well she did have a little bit of time off over Christmas because I mean well it's not just I'd like to say I was working really hard in the yarn lane but it was so in street as well so she had a little bit of break but don't worry she's working on new projects she will be back soon um, now Wendy designed this beautiful cushion for us oh oh yes I'll just go and steal it one moment one moment and I will be back. So um, Wendy demonstrated this cushion on the 17th of November. And obviously this is the purple colourway, which we completely sold out of. And I haven't been able to manage to get this yarn back, but it is gorgeous. It's granny squares. Let me show, lay it flat so you can see it properly. I said to Wendy, I want a cushion that's all granny squares, but with a bit of interest because a lot of you learnt to crochet with Yarn Lane or been inspired to crochet learnt the granny square but wanted them a little bit more of a challenge so some of the squares have got these flowers and they're really 3d aren't they lovely if you did the um christmas crochet long you'll know all about crocheting flowers that are 3d because that was our beautiful poinsettia but isn't it lovely it's all crocheted in cotton yarn so it's really nice to crochet with very summery springy as well 17.99 i'll show you what's in the kit you get the pattern and as you know, Wendy's patterns are fab and always work and are brilliant. And she knows all about these things. So we've had loads of lovely feedback from you. From I've seen pictures of people who've made it. It's gorgeous. There is enough yarn in it to make the front and the back. So there's the front, but the back, really simple. Same yarn, but just going round and round and round. So a really nice, quick finish. Um, so that's in all the instructions. Everything you need to know is some really clear close-up photos as well and exactly how to make it now in this kit this is very springy this is the spring pastels so you've got the same amount of each yarn so you can choose what colors you use where I mean obviously with this one we've used the white for this section and then we go into the dark but you can choose which way around because you've got the same yarn so we've got white beautiful pastel pink lovely spring green and a nice variegated blue look if you look at this one really closely you can see it sort of variegates between mauves and lilacs and blues so that's really pretty really nice project to do as well that's the spring version and then it's also let me just pop those back or i will get confused in this colorway as well now this this is nice. Nice yarn, this. Now, the first time I s used this, saw this yarn, we used it in some um, baby knits. It's a style craft yarn, and it's often used for baby knits because it's bamboo and cotton, so it's really soft and really strong, but it's perfect for cotton crochet, for doing things like cushions, because it crochets easily and it sits very well, so it works really nicely on a cushion and the colours that we've got that we've used in this would look lovely um spare room put on pop on the bed it's really pretty it's very neutral i mean you think that we did you we did use it had some beautiful baby knits in it they were gorgeous but isn't it lovely if i had to move it out of the way of the labels so again you've got the same amount you've got your 100 grams of each of the colours so it doesn't matter which order you put them in what colour you know with this one we've used just the one well wendy's when i say we wendy has used just one color for the flowers so you can choose which one that one is but aren't they soft and lovely so really nice um item to crochet to make up yourself at the moment you because lovely if you if you're planning ahead a bit and think well, i'd like to make that for um a cushion for someone nice thing to have in the car put on your armchair but on a bed as well, but really lovely to do. And Wendy writes the patterns, assuming no massive prior knowledge. So if, you, if you've picked up a hook, if you want to have a go at a granny square and you want to make something really practical and pretty with it, 
I think that one's really pretty. So it's called the Soft Neutrals, because that's what they are. And remember, it's bamboo and cotton, so it really is lovely soft. It's nice to crochet with. Oh, actually, let me just tell you. In fact, I don't need to tell you. If you go on the website, it'll tell you what the hook size is, because I wrote it in there, three and a half mil. So if you click onto the on the description on the website, it tells you what's in the kit, but it'll also tell you what hook size you need. We do have three and a half mil hooks if you haven't got one on the Yarnlow website. Just click on the needles and hooks section. And we've got them in different makes, you just choose the one you want. Right, that's the cushion. Should we do should we do the corner to corner cushions next? Another Wendy, let's go double Wendy. Never enough, never have too much Wendy. Now, you loved this cushion. Corner to corner crochet cushion. Um, 17th of November. We did it before that as well. But I can't remember when. Oh, we'll have a think about that. Wendy, can you remember if you're watching? When did you do this first? Um, corner to corner is a specific crochet technique, which you do as it says. You start crocheting in one corner here. Ooh. Hang on. Can I go overhead? Right. Um, so you start crocheting in one corner and then you go, you work across ways, you work in diagonally. And what's lovely is you sort of start small, you get big until you get to this corner and then you go back again. So I'll just show you the kit for it. So this is the forget me not. So in this one, slightly different to the sample, you've got the dark blue for the petals and the light blue. You've got the green for the leaves. The background is white, but the center is white. Didn't, we didn't have the yellow. So you follow a chart. So it's real. Oh, I'm doing that the right way. You follow the chart, which is lovely. It shows you exactly where you start. And then you start here and you move all the way and you crochet all the way from there to there. And then you crochet back again. Now, if you've never done corner to corner before, honestly, there's a lot of you I know who haven't done it have used these instructions and are converts. It's just very satisfying and you get these beautiful geometric pictures. So everything you need, um, everything is explained in here. All the yarn is in here and the instructions obviously. You need a four and a half mil and a four mil crochet hook. But if you go onto the website, all the descriptions will tell you um, what you need for doing that. So that's that. You yeah, know, that's only in the one color. Yes, I'm confused. So that's just in that one color way. Right. Okay. Message from Annette. Morning, Rebecca. I love yarn lane. Oh, thank you, Annette. So do I. I got my 20-year-old daughter the ball winder. She loves it. Every ball of yarn in our house is now a cake of yarn. Oh, fantastic. Do you know I love mine as well? I love that. Did you get her the wooden one or the plastic one? Because I have both and I <laughs> use them all the time. They're great, aren't they? But it makes a massive difference. And actually, when I wind my balls, particularly if they're big ones, sometimes I rewind them halfway through if they start falling apart a bit. But it is brilliant. And it makes your house look like a wool shop with all these beautiful cakes of yarn. <laughs> but thank you for your kind message, and I'm glad you enjoy it. I'll put that one on. There. Let's do socks. Because I was thinking about Christine Winnick Mum the other day because, A, she's brilliant at socks. Um, if you fo follow her on Instagram, Follow Christine on Instagram. She constantly brings out new patterns and yarn, and she's just bought out a pattern on her website using some of this um, signature yarn. It's fab. So this was written by um, Christine Perry, who's known as Winnick Mum, and honestly, she is the queen of socks, of queen of knitted socks. This is the seasons book, and what's brilliant about it is obviously you've got socks for all seasons, and she's also designed yarn well, she's worked with West Yorkshire Spinners to create yarn, and she wrote this book. And I, I just I just love it. There's ideas. There's the, she puts the reasons in why she's designed them. So she's got fresh shoots for spring, sizzling rays for summer, falling hues for autumn, and frosted ice for winter. And then there's a reason. So she then designed the yarn that goes with the socks. So the socks are designed so that, um, like this one, these are... I love the feeling of a new start each spring. There are vegetables to grow, flowers to sow. It's a time of hope and renewal. So she's got the little pattern going down at the spring and then the spring yarn is used for them. We also have the spring yarn. I'll come to that in a minute. Um, 
and then there's all the instructions and honestly she's got charts she's got instructions it is so comprehensive if you fancy knitting a pair of socks then i cannot recommend christine highly enough love sizzling rays that's the summer one and again we have that one show you that one in a minute um and I love, I love the fact that the way that she's designed the yarn is that it is self-striping, but it has been created in a way that it just doesn't randomly stripe. It's been created so that it stripes evenly around the socks. So it has been created especially to be sock yarn. I'll show you that in a moment. So the design is designed so to reflect the summer and the yarn as well. So there's the design. I mean, look, you know, look at all the instructions. And West Yorkshire spinners, they're brilliant in their pattern books. They always put up close-up photos. Because when you're knitting something or crocheting, you need to be able to look and see, on, you know, against your needles, how is that looking? Does the rib look right? So I love the close-up photos. And look, you know, what does the underneath of the heel look like? Um, charts as well. You don't have to use charts. She does it as written and charts. Love the autumn one, falling hues because she's done that so it looks like falling leaves. Again, in striping yarn. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Um, then finally, for the winter, frosted ice. This is my favourite pair. And she's done this one so it looks like icicles with this beautiful frosted ice coloured yarn. I love the blue one. Elliot says the blue one's his favourite. So those are all... Those are all the four yarns. Now, obviously, because this is our spring summer special, we've just got the spring and summer. But we do have the autumn and the winter. I think of, are they both in stock on the website or just the winter? Right. So if you do want to buy the autumn and the winter yarn, we do have that in stock on the website. However, I'm just going to show you today because we're concentrating on spring and summer. This is the the spring yarn. Now, I'll just make sure it's um, a four ply yarn. So it's a sock yarn. It is 75% British wool and 25% nylon. The, um, the yarn in it is 35% blue face Leicester. So the 70% of it, 35%, that's blue face Leicester. So all of those things are important. A, that it's got the um, nylon in that, that gives the sock strength. Because if you don't use um, yarn that's either got nylon or tensile in it, it's not strong enough for socks. Um, the fact that it has the 35% blue face Leicester makes them really soft. Because Blue Face Leicester is like Merino, our sort of British version of Merino. It's very soft. So all in all, that gives you a very soft and strong British yarn. And it's lovely. And the stripes, look at the colours in it. You've got, it's vivid, you know, from the dark, dark green of the leaves to the more yellowy colour and the limey colour. And the way that the socks stripe means, the way that the yarn is done makes the socks stripe in that way. So if you've done a bit of knitting before, I, I would say you probably don't want to be a complete never picked up a pair of knitting needles before, but if you've done a bit of knitting and you've never knitted a pair of socks, Christine is really the place to go. When I um, was first looking for a sock designer, demonstrator for Yarn Lane, um, loads of people recommended you need to get in touch with Christine and yes, she is the queen of socks. So the book with the ball of yarn, fantastic. However, we've also got the um, summer one. Again, exactly the same, reared, sheared and spun in Britain, made by Wex Yorkshire Spinners, who we all know and love. 35% um, blue face Leicester, and then you've got that mixture of wool and nylon. Um, let me just show you the picture so you can see how the two go together. Nice big picture, look. It's lovely, isn't it? So if you want to knit yourself some spring and some summer socks, brilliant present for somebody. Spring birthday, summer birthday enough yarn you only need one ball by the way for two in fact christian was reckoned you can get three so <laughs> so if you buy two two balls you could have a pair of green a pair of orange and a pair of one of each <laughs> and then i think you know i think there's a real good reason for wearing odd socks because then you're never wearing odd socks because they're just odd if you see what i mean you always wear odd socks. Anyway, this she, she always says there's enough. Um, if you, these aren't in a kit, otherwise I would say to you, have a look on the website and the kit will tell you what needles you need. They're always two and two and a half mil um, and you'll need three mil for the cuffs. And there's a choice of whether you use a short circular DPNs, 
short circular needle, which is 40 centimetres, an 80 centimetre circular if you're going to do the magic loop method, or you can use double pointed needles. And the, that's um, the choice that, that Christine gives you. Either of those options will work. It's personal taste, but um, spring and summer socks. So if you get the two balls of yarn and the book, but if you love the book and you want the autumn and the winter yarn as well, pop onto the Yarn Lane website and, and just put in seasons and it will come up for you. Um, also, I've got a complete kit for you. Again, now this is by Christine, again. The Love Spoon socks. Now these are gorgeous. Look at the pattern on here. And you can see if you get in really close, there is a Love Spoon design going down the front of these. The cable pan of these socks reminds me of the intricate wooden Welsh love spoons that were traditionally carved as a gesture of love and to showcase the skills of the carver. Whether knitted as a gift for yourself or another, the love that is knitted into every stitch will be apparent to everyone who sees them. Absolutely. So, the, in this kit, you get the complete pattern in the wildflower colourway. Not, not that blue one that's on there, but this one here. Now, again, this is exactly the same as the Seasons yarn I just showed you. It's West Yorkshire Spinner's signature four-ply yarn. So it's your 75% wool, 25% nylon, and 35% of the wool contains blue face Leicester. But look at the colours on this. It really is wildflowers. I'm kind of thinking violets, pansies, you've got the um, green leaves, you've got the yellow buttercups. And again, the way that the stripes, because this is using one of the um, West Yorkshire Spinner's signature yarns, they all stripe in the same way. You will get the stripes with the wildflower. So if you fancy skipping through the wildflowers in your own pair of knitted socks, 14 99 one ball of yarn makes three socks, unless you've got massive feet, but it'll definitely make two. Um, but if you want just the pattern on its own because you've already got the yarn, if you want the pattern on its own, we have that for £7.49. I can highly recommend the West Yorkshire Spinners yarn for it though. Message from Stella. Can you crochet socks? So I'd love to give them a go. Well, Stella. Funny you should say that. That's almost like we made it up. That's amazing, isn't it? Um, I'll go on to that and then I'll come back to the knitted, shall I? Okay, I've only got one more pattern for the knitted boxy rib. Have a look on the website and you'll see them there. Now, my other favourite sock person, Queen of the Crochet Socks. No, that's mean because there are lots of crochet cro socks designer. But we love Anna Nikiprovich. Again, one of the first people we contacted because she is brilliant at crochet designs, particularly socks. Now we've got two, oh, she's on air on Saturday. <gasps> Forgot that, Forgot. She is on air on Saturday. Actually, I'll tell you what she's on air with, is her brand new um, crochet along that she's doing with West Shock Spinners, making the most beautiful blankets in two colorways. You're gonna love it, absolutely love it. And you know how fab Anna is and her demonstration she's on saturday i'd forgotten that anyway she's done two crochet socks designs before us and i'm not sure that we've sold this as a pattern on its own before i can't remember that we have um we've uh, we've done it lots of times in a kit with the yarn so this is the basic sock pattern so if you haven't crocheted a pair of socks but you've done some crochet you want to have a go at it this is the basic shock sock pattern now for this, you just need one ball of West Yorkshire Spinner's signature four-ply yarn, obviously, or one ball of four-ply yarn. So if you buy one of these, you could make these. Have a look on the website, though. We've got lots of sock yarn. Remember, it's got to be four-ply, and ideally, don't just use any four-ply. If you can use a sock yarn that's got the nylon in it, it'll be a bit stronger, but we do have these in, in other colours. There are all sorts of four-ply sock yarns on the website, but those two um, seasons ones, look nice and crochet um that's all you need and a three mil hook just that and you make these they're, they're very they're based the basic sock that's the point of it this is where you start so if you fancy crocheting socks you don't want to knit a pair everything you need to know all in here um they will fit fit, 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 fit. oh so they go fit um shoe size three to four up to seven to eight so quite big women's socks might yes might have fit but i'm sure you can just make them a bit longer 
Oh yeah, so you could actually, look, it says remove and work until the work measures 20 centimetres in the back of the hill. So actually, if you wanted longer socks, you'd just keep going a bit more. Look, there's a picture. So these are the basic socks. But if you want to crochet something a little bit more decorative, we have the Latchmore socks. These have got more of a pattern in. Now you need two colours for these. Um, and obviously you only need one ball of yarn to make one pair of socks. So I d you might even have enough to make two because she uses two colours. She uses a plain colour for the cuff. Is it called a cuff at the top of a sock? Yeah, the top of the sock. The heel and the toe is one colour. And then she uses a variegated for this section here. So she in, in her, she used West Yorkshire Spinners, Dusty Mill and Passion Fruit Cooler. You can use whatever you want, but you will need, if you want to do the, the double cut, you will need two um, colours for that. Again, shoe size three to eight. But it does say sizing is easily adjustable in crochet socks. For example, if you're a narrow foot but long, make medium or small size in width and large in length. There you go. So very good for people who don't have standard feet. Aren't they lovely though? So can you see that pale grey that's used on the cuff, the heel and the toe? That's also used within as the, um, uh, the trellis across the multicoloured bit. So that's a choice. Two crochet socks for you. £5.10 for that pattern. It's a bargain, isn't it? I mean, there's pages of it. She's And she's put charts in here as well as words so that you can choose. Um, now, if you've made a pair of socks, we've talked about blocking. We've talked about blocking lots of times. You know, I bought these specially um, based on Christine's recommendation as well. So when you need to block something, and we talk about blocking, there's always great controversy about to block or not to block, especially when we talk about acrylic. Um, we do blocking boards, which are brilliant for granny squares. We do blocking mats, which are great for all other, th all other things. Um, Basically, the idea behind it is that when you knit or crochet something, it doesn't always end up exactly the shape it should do, just by the nature of it. So what you do is you spritz it with water or completely submerge it like I do. Wrap it in a towel to get rid of the excess moisture. And then if you're using a blocking mat or board, you pin it out to shape. And then it dries and it stays in that shape. Now, if you're making a pair of socks, how do you do that? Well, you buy some um, sock blockers. Now, sock blockers come in different sizes for different size feet. So this is the small one. Obviously you get two, one for each foot. Otherwise you've got to, otherwise you've got to do one at once. Does it say what size? Small is EU 35 to 37 and a half. So I would say that's about three to four. Oh. So it's size two and a half to three and a half because I know 38 is five so the, the small is size two to size four and a half so basically once you've knitted or crocheted your socks damp them or wet them completely wrap them in a towel pop them onto the sock blockers and then just leave them you just think how quick that is I mean ideally every time you wash your socks you should re-block them to get them the perfect size you don't have to but very simple using these because then you haven't got to do all the pinning out you just wash them because really if they are your own hand knitted socks or hand crocheted socks I would wash them by hand pop them on your sock blockers they're perfect every time so that's the small we also have them in medium and oh, medium is well medium is 36 to 40 so I'm guessing that's four to six is that four to six um Um, large is 41 plus. So medium is size 36 to 40. We should have worked this out, shouldn't we? What this says under there? Four. Oh, size six. Okay. Right, I'm just going to write this down. Look, so small is 35 to 37 and a half, medium is 36 to 40, large is 41 plus. So if you can convert that, you'll know which one is which. But basically, the 41 plus is for men, men's socks. Anyway, 
if you are if you like making socks you want to get that perfect finish then sock blockers um fine final sock item is the knitting accessory set for socks which i'm going to open love an accessory set particularly the clover i bought these specially because um isn't it nice to have it all in a little box and clover's so great let me show you what you get in here so you get your little stitch markers and they have to be small because the of mostly the yarn is four ply you get little sock stitch markers ideal for marking positions and particularly when you make crochet ones but if you need to have removable positions um rings these are great when you're doing patterns like cables and stuff. I've got these on my dog coat pattern. So that you, obviously not for crochet, these are for knitting because you pop them onto your needle and then you and then you can mark, say, the outer edges of cable patterns or certain places and then you just transfer them over each time. So if you're doing quite a complex pattern, really good for marking the place where you are. Um, you also get ends. Now these, you know your double point when you've got your set of five DPNs and you don't want your knitting to fall off. You can push them like that, either end of them, and it all holds them together. Obviously ideal for socks because we often use DPNs. And then you've got um, two needles for sewing up your socks. And all in a nice little box as well. Um, should we go, should we move to the other desk? Right, let me just put my sock accessory back. Oh, I forgot I put so much stuff on the floor. <laughs> the spring wreath. Where is he? Oh, I've made this. I've made this. I've got this hanging on my kitchen door. I have to admit to not having done the summer one yet ready. So I have that on my door. I lost all the eggs because i um, in the kit, I'll show you, in the kit, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant, this kit. And I made it and I love and I love it. And it hangs on my kitchen door. And I've got all the other kits because um, Sam did spring, summer, autumn, winter. And I've got all of the others, but I haven't made them yet. So I've got to get a move on. So in the kit, you get all the pattern for making it, which is brilliant and works. You get the wreath, which is fab, isn't it? You get the you get the um, the wreath. You get all the yarn you need, all these lovely colours for the, all the spring flowers. You've got blue tits on there, so you've got all of these spring flowers. You've got blue tits. Um, love the daffodils and the leaves. Works really well, honestly. Love mine. You get the bow, the ribbon to make into a bow. You get in here. That's the stuffing for the blue tit. And in here, I've got, I've got to show you because this is what I lost. It was funny. In here. Um, you get the eyes for the blue tit. So, I mean, it really has got everything except for the um, hook and you need a three mil. Go onto the website, it tells you what else you need. But you even get the eyes for the blue tit and you get the three eggs that go in the nest. So, I put mine in a really safe place while I was making it. And six months later, I found that very safe place. <laughs> yeah. I put them in a teacup on top of my dresser right at the very top. And um, so my nest was eggless for quite some time. I knew I'd find them one day, but you know, have you ever done that? You put them in a really safe place and then can't find them. So that's the, um, the spring wreath. Now, I'm pretty sure we have some still in stock of the summer, autumn and winter. I have got all of them, I haven't finished them yet, but it looks lovely on my kitchen door. Right, um, okay. I'm just going to try and put that back for now. Oh, I've still got 20. I've got hours. I've got 20 minutes. You can get through loads in 20 minutes. Right. Spring wreath. Honestly, can't recommend that highly enough. I love mine. Um, oh, Sam did these. These are brilliant as well. I haven't made these, but I really would like to. So crocheted flowers, I mean, I am a great lover of artificial plants because most things I have die except for my cacti. Um, so I asked Sam Ajka, let's, well, she's done lots of flowers. So it was one thing I requested that we would have on Yarn Lane was flowers. So she did lots of them. This is the daffodils one. So in the pack, in the kit, $17.99, you get full instructions, look, to make the daffodils. Look at them. You get 20 ball, two balls of quack. That's brilliant. So <laughs> quack, two balls of quack, one of laundry, 
one of Juicy and one of Shower. What great names. So this is um, Serdar Happy DK Cotton, which works really well with flowers because cotton has a bit more weight and structure to it. Really simple instructions. I mean, if you've done any of um, Sam Adventures in Crafting Designs, you will know. But look, everything you need to know, really lovely walkthrough photos as well. Uh, she has demonstrated this on air. If you put into YouTube, oh, 31st of March last year is when she demonstrated the daffodils. And so in the kit, you get the full instructions. You get the balls of Sirdar Happy Cotton, but you also get the green sticks. And the only other thing you need is a three mil hook. Um, if you if you want to look if you go on the website all of that information is on there but aren't they lovely nice i'm thinking mother's day if you want to make a mother's day present for somebody and get ahead because you need to get your kit you've got to make it do it but what a lovely gift for somebody a pot of flowers and we have got a few others so if you fancy combining them together we did do a multi-pack at the show of all of them but that sold out ages ago so we've also got daisies. There are others on the website, but we have got the, um, the da daisies. I love the fact that all of Sam's kits come in really nice calico bags and they've all got a sticker on. So nice as a gift as well. I bought two of um, Sam's hat and scarf kits as gifts for Christmas. And because they came in the nice bags like this, they look really lovely presents. Mm. You know, if you fancy buying a friend a present for a friend for Valentine's Day, bunch of crocheted flowers, why not? So this is the daisy. Let's see what these colours are called. And again, look, you get these beautiful. They're they're not just white daisies. They're these lovely shades of mauvey pink. So you get lemonade, laundry. I wonder why the green one is called laundry. Strange, isn't it? Um, laundry, flamingo, unicorn and shower. Oh, I'm going to be a yarn colour name in my next life. So if you want to make daisies, that's the kit, $17.99. Oh, and you get the sticks as well. So everything you need, bar the three mil hook. Um, you've got enough yarn in the kit to make six flowers. That is a lovely gift for somebody. Never, ever going to die. <laughs> Mm, never ever going to die unlike most things you think you know think how much a bouquet of daisies will cost you these last forever 17.99 and they are lovely to make they're really quick and simple so you know if you've done a little bit of crochet you want to move on to making something else it's the sort of thing they're very quick that you can keep you know work through the instructions i don't think i've ever crocheted anything brand new that i haven't had to undo a bit of and start again you really learn a lot of skills with making things like this because they're nice little things that you can you know really take some time over so that's the daisies if you love the flowers if you go onto the website and put in um um, adventures and crafting on yarnlake.com.com you'll see the other kits because she um, Sam does still ooh, I'm dropping on my balls <laughs> right we're looking for the daisy dream catcher no I've not got that oh we've got a picture of it instead show me the oh well that, so the Woolly Chic Daisy Dreamcatcher kit. That's gorgeous. Have we got a picture of that? We'll just show you a picture of that. I haven't got a kit of that here because um, Helen sends those out herself. This was one of the first, if not the first, I don't know, can't remember the second kit that um, Helen did with us. In the kit, you get everything you need to make this, including the hoop. So it's beautiful. It's a lovely daisy with a bumblebee in the middle really lovely ever so ever so popular i think that's really pretty isn't it so if you want to bring a little bit of sunshine daisy into your life it's lovely that kit because it really has got everything you need 24.99 message from caroline hi all love doing the 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 christmas one right my new year craft is learning to knit so started to knit Block of, oh, is it the block of the month? Right, so started the knit block of the month. Thank you. Oh, that's great. That, this is interesting, Caroline. A lot of people are the other way around, that they've done 
the knitting, but they haven't done the crochet. So it's lovely. Well, I'm glad you're starting with the knitting block of the month because I think there's a lot of people who've been maybe not knitted for years who've started with it and then have then joined and it really learned because you learn, it starts off very simple and you learn new skills as you go along. So a great place for anyone to start knitting and crochet is with the block of the month. Needle punch. So how about needle punch? Have you tried that? Tis a yarn craft because he uses yarn. So these again are from Salmon Adventures and Crafting. This is the daffodil. Let me open it all up just so you can see. You get a lot in this kit. So you get all the instructions and this is really is written for complete beginners. So in here you get all well all the instructions and the template. Um, you get the punch needle full punch needle with the extra needles. This is a Millwood one. You get that as the tool. Um, you get the embroidery hoop. Now the embroidery hoop is um, the one that you use to do the punch needle in and the one that you use to frame it as well. It comes with the linen and it comes with the four ply cotton yarn. So with this one you get the black for the words, you get the um, orange and yellow for the flowers and the green for the leaves. So if you've not tried punch needle before or you know somebody who would like it, it's even got the template transferred on there for you by um, Sam. This is everything you need to get started and it comes in this lovely bag as well. So it's a really nice as a gift or if you want to think I'd like to have a go at punch needles, really pretty design, bring a few little daffodils into your life. It's the sort of thing, you know, it's nice to start on a small level like this with everything you need. If you then like it, you've got the hoop, you know what the linen is, you know how to do it, you know you've got the tools already. Very easy to then to move on to other designs after that. We've also got more punch needle. So if you want to add to that, the which one? Primrose. So this is the Primrose one, exactly the, exactly the same thing, except it's a Primrose. So in this one, you've got the full instructions to make the Primrose that says love and has a bumblebee on it. Got a picture? There we go, there's the picture. The design has already been transferred onto the fabric for you. You get the linen fabric, look, let me move that out of the way. You get the linen fabric and the hoop that's used for doing the punch needle in and to frame it, but Sam traced all the designs herself. Mad. Onto the, well, because she wanted people to learn punch needle who hadn't ever done it before, and it's all done for you. The template's already transferred. You've got the tool, You've got the instructions, you've got all of them. There is nothing else that you need. A pair of scissors maybe, but other than that, everything you need. And it's lovely, isn't it? Because sometimes when you buy these beginner's kits, you haven't got everything or you've got a bit of rubbish fabric, but this really, is, this is the, um, the Mildred punch needle that Sam likes to use as well. So it really has complete kit, brilliant for beginners. Or if you love punch needle, have a go. And it's sometimes you need to try things like that to see if you like it. But I love the fact they're so, such pretty kit, being ever so popular with us. Right, I've also got a tulip. Right, this one's slightly different. Again, only it's just a slightly different style. Again, you've got the fabric and you've got the, ooh, 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 and the design traced. Let me show you the picture. Oh, you got the picture. So with this one, you've got the background filled in as well. So you've got the, um, the punch needle, the Millwood's adjustable punch needle. Um, you've got the special fabric, which is called monk's cloth, which is a, like a woven, almost looks like a hess. It looks like the wovenness of a hessian or an eight cross stitch ada, but much, much softer. It's perfect for punch needle because the needle goes through it really well. And then you've got all the yarn that you need because with this one, different to the other one, the background is all filled in. So you've got the three colors that you need for the tulip but then you fill in all the background as well with the cream. It's so pretty. But everything again you need is in the tulip kit and the templates um, traced on there. 
one more needle punch, rainbow. And the rainbow. Rainbow. Right. This really is rainbow, isn't it? Okay. Really is rainbow. Oh, and it's got a button. Where's the look of them? I don't know. Right. That one's obviously fallen out of its hoop. Put that back together in a minute. Um, so this is the rainbow. So again, you've got the monk's cloth for the background. You've got the hoop, which you use to do your punch needle in. And... Oh, I'm just doing the, trying to do that up. There we go. Right, so you've got the rainbow traced on. You've got the hoop. I'm doing that up. It's annoying me. That's coming apart. Um, and then you've got the rainbow coloured yarns. There. I think I'm missing one. Yeah, I am. There we go. Da -da. There's the blue one. And then you've got the grey for the background and you have the punch needle and I think this must be for threading because I've got two of them they must have fallen out of the other one so if you fancy doing a rainbow isn't that lovely again brilliant for beginners really good for children to do a nice craft that you can do with them so good for a gift as well or if you just want to have a go at punch needle yourself this is a brilliant way to get started with it and this is the, exactly the, the right fabric to use. It's so soft. So that's the rainbow punch needle kit. Let me just pop all that back in. Oh, I should get confused. The jumper. Yes, I've just got to go and get that because I've left that on the other desk. I'm just going to go and get it. While well, I go and get it, it's on the other desk. Now, who doesn't love this jumper? I love this jumper. So, I've seen a few sort of people wearing these lately, these ripple effect jumpers, and said to Sam, oh, can you design one? Because I really want one. Um, she loved the idea of it. And they are just gorgeous, aren't they? They're really trendy at the moment. I've seen lots and lots of people. If you look on the high street, loads of people wearing these ripple jumpers. Um, so... This is the spring version. Well, it's called Vintage Rose Stripes, actually. But it is the spring version. So we have got... Now, I have obviously crocheted lots of Sam's items in the past. so And they're all lovely. So there on the screen now, you can see that's what the jumper looks like. You can choose whether you have the gathered cuffs like that or whether you just have it open. You can choose the style of neck. If you look watch back Sam's show and she did she designed she explains all the different things and there's then the small square in the right hand side because that's the charcoal version is the vintage rose version which is the kit that we've got for you today it's in beautiful pastel shells shades of pinks mauve and cream as the main color it's absolutely gorgeous again as with all of Sam's kits comes in a lovely calico bag so there we go. So we get one, two, we get the cream yarn. This is all a lovely um, double knit. It's really lovely quality, the Wendy Supreme DK. It's um, acrylic, but it's very, very soft, very supple and washes beautifully as well, which is very important. Um, then we get the darker rose. I wonder if it, it probably gives a name for, for the colours. It's got the darker rose and then it has the lighter rose. The label's coming off that one. And then it's got this lovely um, lilac shade. So, well, it is like um, vintage rose, isn't it? So if you like the ripple jumper, that Sam does explain if you go back and watch her demo. When did she do it? Ooh, 15th of December. 15th of December. Um, she explains about the different ways you can alter the neckline of how you want it. But they're very, very popular at the moment. Um, for all, all ages, actually, to be honest. I've seen them in lots of different sorts of shops. And really a lovely pattern to do as well, because it really is just treble crochet. And it's just all about the increase and the decrease. And after a while, you think, well, I'll never remember the pattern. But it, after a while, it all becomes clear. Um, if you watch the show back, Sam gives some really, really good tips about how to keep the pattern correct. But once you do it, if you've only maybe done granny squares and you think, actually, I'd like to do a garment, or I'd like to do a different stitch. Well, it is a treble, just like you use in your granny squares, but it's all about increasing and decreasing. So this is kind of the next step. 
but isn't this pretty look lovely um in the spring pair of jeans pretty lovely over a summer dress very love that and, and again all comes in the calico bag it all comes in the in the bag right i was gonna say i've probably got enough time for sheep <laughs> so i first asked sincerely louise um if she would come on air because i'd knitted her the, sh the ram head years ago which i have hanging above my kitchen door and um and she did and you loved her kits so this is the kit for the sheep's head do we have a picture of it i just want i'm gonna well i won't take out the stuffing so in the kit brilliant it comes in a lovely drawstring canvas bag with the logo all sewn on it's gorgeous and you get to make that beautiful sheep's head i've got the ram head at home honestly i get so many comments about it i i love it love the sheep head so in the kit is everything you need you get um this gorgeous canvas bag like a duffel bag that it comes in then in the kit you get um the cream yarn and it's really chunky honestly it's really really quick to knit it's um 20 percent alpaca and 80 percent acrylic that's the cream yarn you get in it you get the um the gray yarn that's used for the ears you get the needles because you need big ones you get um all the instructions in there and you get the backing board which is very important because the sheep's head sits on the board and then you get all the other little bits and pieces like the eyes and everything you need um, all in there and the needles as well and you just and I've got mine my daughter's got one and she's got hers in her bedroom but they look lovely on the wall because they're just so fun and cheerful and perfect for the spring so if you've never knitted anything by Sincerely Louise before you will love this I think these are great we've also got but we only have one Black sheep. I won't get all the kit out. Have you got a picture of that one? So we have got a few more of the white sheep. But if you fancy a black sheep, we do have just one of those left. So please do, um, if, you, if you want that one, put it in your basket and please do check out. There are other Sincerely Louise kits on the website if you, if you love them. But um, I can highly recommend them because I have made a few now. And they are lovely. So thank you. Ooh, sorry. Thank you for joining me on Yarn Lane today. It's love, love, always lovely to be with you um, in Yarn Lane on on a Monday. Um, Yarn Lane is back on Friday this week with oh Catherine writes in, and Saturday it will be in with Anna Nikiplovich doing her crochet long. So thank you for joining me today. Um, happy spring knitting and crochet um please do send photos if you haven't joined fans of the yarn lane page please do join it and lo we lo i love seeing all your makes and your photos and your questions it's always great it's such a lovely community to be part of um, i will see you back here next monday but bye bye for now